This is Dr. Willie Ong. For this video, I would like to talk about heart rate. What's the normal heart rate? I have here a model of a heart. So the heart is responsible for pumping the blood around the body. So in one minute, the heart usually pumps around 60 to 90 beats per minute. So that's the normal heart rate. How do you get your heart rate? One technique is to check your pulse rate. The pulse is located in the radial area near the thumb. So you palpate for your pulse. Then you look at the clock and you count the number of beats in one minute. So that will be your resting heart rate. Another technique is to check for your carotid pulse. It's located in the anterior section of your neck area near the thyroid gland. So once you feel the carotid pulse, you look at the clock and you check the number of beats in one minute. So that will be your resting heart rate. Okay. So once you have your heart rate, let's see if it is normal or not. As I mentioned, normally the heart rate is around 60 to 90 beats in one minute. For athletes, sometimes a heart rate of 50 to 60 is still normal. If your heart rate is more than 90, that's quite fast already. And if your heart rate is more than 100, that's tachycardia, you should see your doctor to find out what's causing the fast heart rate. There are many causes. It can be due to heart disease, heart failure, anemia, hyperthyroidism, thyroid problems. Infections and fever can also cause a fast heart rate. Anxiety can also increase the heart rate. So you should see your doctor. On the other hand, if your heart rate is very slow, less than 50 beats per minute, that is usually a sign of a heart rhythm problem and you should also see your doctor. This is also quite possible in the elderly. Okay? So to keep your heart healthy, you should eat healthy foods, avoid vices, and exercise regularly. But before you exercise, it's best to get a doctor's clearance. So what's your heart rate? You can post it in the comment section below. And if you feel any palpitations, skip beats, or chest pain, it's best to consult your doctor. I hope my short video helps you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care now.